Yes, boys, welcome back to this brand new FIFA 19 Ultimate Team player review slash is this player worth it video. I pretty much make these videos all the time when SBCs do come out. I've not been as active on my channel recently as the content that EA has been bringing out has been extremely poor and they've just not really brought out anything that's caught my eye and it's just been fairly poor recently. But pretty much the new promo has dropped today for the Carnival. That's what it's called anyway. It looks like a great promo. A lot of players have been released and I'm pretty sure it's going to be new weekly objectives four cards so as you can see here make sure you check these out and go ahead and complete them you get Emre Chan for winning those games and you get Weyer's son for winning that and then you get a kit uh, a foot swap player and that's oh you get actually two more here so you get Taliska and Ben Arthur so that's four four players that are, that are up for grabs which is huge that's a lot from EA like they don't usually give much out <clears throat> So the fact that they're giving out four players for weekly objectives is amazing. So definitely go ahead and do that. But today's video is going to be on this Hulk. Is he worth it? We're going to go through that right now. We're going to check how much it is going to cost and review the card overall. There's going to be no gameplay, of course, but we're just talking about whether this card's worth it. I have a lot of these videos on my channel, mainly on icons, but I pretty much have them on all the players. Like I've got them on Nedved, Seydorf, Baggio, uh, players like that. But pretty much, boys, into this Hulk. <clears throat> Hulk already has an inform on this game, as we all know, but this card looks amazing. The kind, the card design is amazing. Depending on the price, I would say it's worth it because he's a great option in the game. He's a really, really good center attack in mid. Three-star weak foot is a bit of an issue, but he's got four-star skill moves, which is great, obviously. I'm a skiller, so I like to have a player that has skills, so four-star is enough for me. He's left-footed, so if you are going to play him, I would play him right attack in mid in a 4 2 3 one if not there, then I'll play him in a 4 one 2 one 2 just at cam. But you could play him up front if you really wanted to. He's 5 foot 11, so he isn't a short player. He's quite tall, actually. Um, high medium, not a problem there. That's probably suited for a striker. But 3-star weak foot, keep in mind, that's a little bit of an issue. So depending on the price, it could be worth it, it could be not. But he's got 89 stamina, which is perfect, obviously. He's going to last pretty much the entire game. He's got amazing physical, amazing strength. As we all know, Hulk's a very strong player. Um, so he's perfect to have as a player like that. He's got good heading accuracy, so he's going to win headers for you. So overall, he's a very good player, trust me. 72 jumping is quite low for him which isn't perfect, obviously. He's got 86 aggression. I'm not too sure if aggression is that actually that important on this game. I don't feel like it impacts too much, but again, it's still a good start to have. It's another great high start. He's got good dribbling, good ball control, great reactions. He's, his agility is not out of this world. He's not messy, Neymar agility. He's not that type of player. But 78 agility for a player that has 96 strength really isn't bad, trust me. Uh, he's got amazing free kicks, as we all know. He's got amazing shot power, as you can see. Pretty much the best shot power on the game. 99 shot power, free kick accuracy 88, and then he's got short passing 85, long pass 78, curve 85, vision 81, crossing 83. His acceleration's 87, so he isn't the quickest player in the world, but he isn't slow. His finishing's good enough, his volleys are good, his penalties are good. Overall, amazing card really is an amazing card i love the card design i really really do so getting into the sbc itself you need to submit an 86 rated squad with a brazilian player for a prime gold players pack you also need to submit an 85 rated squad with two informs for a 35k pack so you get in 35 plus 45 which is what's that 80 i'm pretty sure yeah 80k uh 80 000 coins worth of packs like in return of the value which is decent but an 86 rated squad with a brazilian so literally any brazilian you have in your club i'm not too sure who i do have but just an example say for example i was like oh i'm not going to use Danny alvis ever again i could go ahead and throw him in or even my red felipe anderson so then you need an 86 rated squad that one's going to cost you about 130,000 coins it's quite an expensive one 130,000 coins for the 86 rated squad and then the 85 rated squad with two informs meaning you're going to need two fairly high rated informs um because it's an 85 rated squad so you can't have two low rated informs so taking a look what informs i do have I do have a few, I'm pretty sure. So, for example, Lozano. 
I've got three of these as well. So let's just say I put them two in, 85, 84. This SBC here is going to cost about 80k remainder, but plus them, it's going to cost you overall about 250,000 coins for this Hulk card, which is very good in my opinion. For an 87 rated Hulk card that's, that looks a very good card, he's got a great design. In my opinion, 250,000 coins is definitely worth it, so I do recommend it 100%. But as you can see here, special card, 84 rated card, selling for 80k on the market. So... For a plus 3 upgrade from 84 to 87, is it worth like an extra 150,000 coins? In my opinion, yes it is. 250,000 coins, if you can get this card for that, plus an 80,000 coin return in pack value. In my opinion, this SBC is 100% worth it. So yeah, I really do highly recommend this SBC to you. So if you do go ahead and complete it, let me know in the comment section down below. Is he any good? Are you enjoying him? And also let the other people in the comment section down below know whether he's worth it or not. In my opinion, it's worth it. Also drop a comment down below on whether you do think it's worth it because I am interested to hear. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video on this Carnival Hulk. If you did enjoy it, boys, you know what to do. Drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We're aiming for 1,850 subscribers. We're almost there. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video and I really hope it did help you out. But that has been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Peace out.